Hi again. Today I will talk about um, an important aspect in trading, which is confluence. And I will show you this example here on the Dow Jones index. And I will mention the factors or the indicators that give us this trade. I will start with this move here that broke market structure to the upside. It was impulsive. It had also here um, gap. And I think it also had a, a B, BPR, which is a um, balanced price range um, gap. I think it was on the one hour short. Nope. Maybe 15. I think so. I think I had seen it. No, never mind. But we have this gap here on the one hour short. And it's better on the two hour short. It's much more clear. So here is the gap. And so our first indicator is Fibonacci retracement level of 61, which is a very good retracement level. Our second indicator is this fair value gap. Our third indicator will be time because price hit this area actually at New York Open, which is a very good um, time to take your trade. And our fourth indicator will be lower time frame confirmation because if we look here at one minute short we will see this pattern here which is wike of accumulation pattern exactly as the book shows here we have our preliminary support and then the range created and then here the spring and the break of structure coming back here and then went back up so we know that this area is a very good area to accumulate or uh, this is our confirmation of that this area is accumulation and then price came back again to this level to test it. And then the test was here. And then another test here. And it went back up again, broke this structure, and then went back up. Price actually came back again to this um, area that I've marked here, came back here today, actually, to the range, and then went back up very fast so this is our fourth indicator and also if you like to use um, ict strategies you can also look here this is the asian range and if you look here asian range is here and then price accumulated actually on not on the second standard deviation of the range but on the third standard deviation of the range and then it went back up maybe to take profit normally at four two three four you can take profits here and then also you can use the smt strategy which is the smart money technique which actually is looking um, at divergence between uh, different indices so if you look at um, say nasdaq you will find that actually here is the range that what that was at the same time at uh, um, here is, um, sorry, here is the range of the NASDAQ. And as you can see here, price went up while at the same time on 
Dow Jones, it actually, here it was the range and price went down. So normally, because also the S&P 500 did the same as NASDAQ, so we had two indices that went up while um, the Dow Jones went down. So you normally you will know that smart mon money is accumulating here at the index that went the opposite, um, oh, um, that went to the opposite direction, um, different from the two other indices. And actually we had, as I said before, the accumulation pattern that was very clear on one minute chart and then price went up from there. That's it for today. Follow for more.